What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can take this picture and turn it into this. Oh wait, uh, this. What's up guys? So I've been asked 8 billion times to do a YouTube tutorial on kind of my workflow for editing pictures. So I'm going to finally do it. Fair warning, I generally don't have any direction when I edit pictures. I just kind of wing it and see what works. And more importantly, that is the sound of a beer opening. So I'm probably going to be even less organized than I normally am. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, the first thing that I do with this is I like to kind of adjust all these dials on the left hand side actually you know what before we even get to this step one originally is to shoot in raw if you're not shooting in raw then there's your first problem so I'm gonna adjust all these and I kinda of have a weird process flow I don't know if anybody else does this but I will edit the first picture and kind of adjust all of this with uh, how I want the scene to look like around it like the environment the background that kind of stuff so I'm going to adjust it that way and then later I'm going to come back and adjust what I want the car to look like so right now I want shadows to be dark and I want like that and bring down the blacks a little bit and clarity you got to turn up clarity if it's going to be a modern chaos picture you got to crank that shit up I'm a little sad that it only goes to 100 and not like 5000 I also like to lower the saturation a little bit. All right, that's good enough. This isn't perfect, but it's a YouTube tutorial, so I'm not gonna sit here and fuck around with it for three hours. And then I'm gonna take the same exact raw file and drop that shit back into here. And now we're just gonna adjust it for how I want the car, which is brighter. And a little more highlights looking good already and there you go we're just gonna kinda roll with that so the way that I do it now is you have the background and environment and then you have what you can want the car so you have those two different layers so we're gonna take the first layer the top layer rather and if you hold control I'm sorry hold alt see the beers already kicking in you hold alt and then you click on the layer mask and now it's become black and you can't see it so then you go to the brush here and just kind of paint in where you want the car. I don't color inside the lines because uh, that takes too much time. So I'm just going to color on around the car as much as I can and then fill it in later. A good trick to use if you don't already know this is just above the enter key there's that little backslash. If you click that it shows you the parts you've missed. And I just accidentally erased everything. Oops. Gotta lay off the beer here. And let me just fill this in here. It's going to look good. And there you go. Problem solved. And now using this same technique, we're just going to kind of switch to black as the color. And we're just going to shade it in and get rid of the parts we don't need to highlight. Just fill that in. Again, I'm not making it perfect because that would waste way too much of your time. And unlike my time, yours is probably valuable. Okay, so that looks good. Enough. Ish. Oh, now it's gonna fucking bother me if I don't do it. God damn it. Okay. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Now we're looking good. Brightens up the whole picture already. And I actually kinda wanna keep these dark, so. You know, whatever, good enough. Okay, so um, that's a good start. It already has that kind of an HDR look to it, right? Uh, but the next step is something that you don't necessarily have to do perfectly, but I kind of do some perfection. Oh, God, you can see me in this picture. Well, that's about as close as I'm ever going to get to a selfie. So, you know, cherish that for whatever it is. And now I'm going to get in real deep here, phrasing, and delete all the little areas that I don't like. Like this little white dot. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to be really pissed if it's, 
a rock chip because this is my car and I really don't want it to have a rock chip. I'm going to leave all the raindrops because, you know, that kind of makes sense for the scene, but that little white dot was bothering me. There really isn't too much else. You can go in here and you can fix every little detail if you really want to, but um, again, YouTube tutorial, don't want to take up all your time. And next step here is I do kind of want to get rid of myself out of here, uh, but I'm not going to do that because it's going to take me too long. <coughs> Sorry, next step here, let's see. I am going to um, kind of play with some colors. So this is an optional step. You don't have to do this. It's just something that I like to do. I'm going to... Oh, God damn police sirens. That is totally going to get in my video. Can't people commit crimes later? Okay, so police sirens are gone. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to darken the sky a little bit more. Because although you can probably see it here, all right. I don't know if it's going to show up on YouTube with the contrast settings in there, but... Uh, you can see a bit of definition in the clouds, but not enough to really kind of, you know, make them pop. And especially on, like, phones and other devices that your picture is going to be seen on, it's probably not going to look that great. So, I am going to create a new layer on top of these two layers. And I'm going to make the layer type. It's going to be soft light. Very soft light. And I'm going to take my black brush here. I'm gonna make it real big, right? And the softness is gonna be a lot. So uh, make it very large. I'm just gonna kind of paint in the black part right here. And again, don't feel bad if you accidentally draw over something because you can hit Control Z and undo it, or later come back and erase it like I do. So there we go. That's already looking a little bit darker and a little bit more edgy. So now what I'm gonna do to this picture is I'm gonna turn these lights on without wasting my car battery. So I'm gonna go in here, that was a really bad joke. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do some fake lights. Essentially the way you wanna do fake lights is you wanna create a new layer and you wanna fill that shit with black and then you wanna change that shit to color dodge. Now it's like it didn't even exist. But then you're gonna come in here with a white brush and you're just gonna paint over that shit. Maybe not that much, but uh, I always do a brush with again like no hardness and just kind of fill in the light and just pew, right there that's already a good start and then we're gonna go create a new layer same thing fill it with black color dodge and then this time we're gonna kinda move forward see lights generally bounce off of that lens right there so it kinda adds a little bit of reality to it and we're going to do another layer again, fill it with black, throw that color dodge up there, and start painting in with the white again. And now I'm just going to kind of fill this in. I'm not doing this right now. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, that's black. That's the wrong color. Okay, so now we're going to fill it in. Oops. I'm going to zoom way into this shit. For those of you that will ask, I do not use a tablet to draw this. I am just really good with a mouse. Probably played too many video games when I was a kid, but that's a different story. Alright, so we're just going to fill this in. There we go. Now it looks fake as fuck, right? Um, so we're going to go into blur, or film, sorry, filter, blur, and then. Gaussian blur? Gaussian blur? Whatever. You know what it is. Okay, and we're going to change that shit. Uh, we're just going to increase it a little bit to look a little more legit. And now we're cooking with gas. Boom. It's already looking like a light. Then we're going to create another layer again. But this time we're not going to fill it with black. We're actually going to use the white brush. And we're just going to kind of give it a little bit of highlights here. Now that looks fake as shit, right? So we're just going to change that to soft light. And I'm just going to decrease that a little bit. I just want to give it a little bit extra, but I don't want to blow the whole thing out. So, does that look normal to you? Oops. Yeah, you know, good enough. You can kind of play around with that and make it perfect if you really want to. Uh, but it's not really required. Now, you can do the same shit to the fog lights if you really wanted to. But, um, you know, again, YouTube tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this, actually. 
because it's bothering me. This little fucking thing over here. And there you go. I tend to have OCD with pictures, so I apologize. Now the next thing I'm going to do, not something that will work in every picture, but it kind of gives it a cool look, is I'm going to play with some colors here. And I'm going to use a nice dark brown and kind of bring in some sunlight from over here. I think I'm going to come over. Yeah, I'm going to come from over here. And so I, I know there's a better way to do this. You can use like the uh, gradient tool or whatever. But I kind of like going this route and just painting it. And oh, there you go. There you go. That looks legit, right? No, it doesn't. We're going to change that to soft light. Now it's starting to look more legit. And now with that same brush, we're going to add a little bit of lightness. So we're going to actually change this now to white again. And we're just going to add a little bit of light. Actually, you know what? Just a little tiny bit of light. Not that much light. Come on, Photoshop. Don't be a dick. There we go. Good enough. OK. Uh, the next filter here that kind of plays off of this is now that this is very warm It kind of makes the rest of the picture look warm and kind of Changes the mood a bit. I like to keep it dark and cold and edgy and whatever So I'm actually gonna bring back a little bit of that blue. So we're just gonna go into here And we're gonna yeah, it's about that teal color really I don't have to do anything too crazy And I'm just gonna paint that in Again, giant brush, a lot easier to work with. And there you go. And soft light. And now we've brought back some of the blue. Now this obviously looks very, very obviously two-tone. So we're going to turn the contrast, I'm sorry, the opacity down a little bit. And we're just going to increase it a little bit until it looks just right. And there you have it. That looks good already. Now the last thing that I would do to this picture is that a, a vignette kind of a you know what actually I want to get rid of this fucking car because that's obnoxious so I'm gonna actually go into here we're gonna do that at the end no we're not we're gonna do it right now I'm gonna merge these two layers together and I know it's a bad idea to merge things because in oh holy shit that's not right uh so is that, why is that doing that there we go didn't I don't know what I did before but whatever now it's one layer and I know everybody in the comments is going to tell me, oh, you can't merge layers because then you can't go back and make changes later. But it's a little bit easier to manage. And I don't suggest merging layers unless you are absolutely sure you're done. I've kind of burned myself doing that before, but I never learn. So I'm just going to get rid of that car, this little stupid SUV over here. And the easiest way to do that, this is a little trick that I've learned. I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to highlight that part of the picture. You want to make a duplicate layer in case you fuck it up. And then do control T and we're just going to edit just that part of the layer. And we're just going to extend it out to about right there. And see that? Car's gone. I didn't even have to do any blending work. Makes it a hundred times easier. Now this sharp line kind of comes into play and that kind of ruins it. So then you want to just use the eraser and just kind of finish that off a bit to kind of blend it in a little bit better. But there you go. That's all I had to do and it gets gone. I didn't even have to do any work. So there you go. Car's gone. I'm going to keep the crane in here because I kind of like that, but you know, whatever. All right. Now let's go back into adding a filter. We're going to do a vignette filter. So you're just going to get your selection oval tool over here and it's going to drop from one corner all the way to the other corner, which creates an oval in the middle. And then Control Shift I inverts that, and you can fill that in with some black, and then go to you know soft light on the layer type, obviously. And then you want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian, whatever blur. And I kind of found as a rule of thumb that 388 pixels kind of does the trick. And there you go. Now I think it did a little bit too much damage on the edges here. It's a little too obviously burned on the edges. So I'm just going to drop that down to zero and just slowly increase it until I kind of like the way it looks. Just just barely darken the edges. So about 27% is what I did for this one. Obviously it's going to be different per picture, but there you go. And there you have it. That's your picture. Now I just need to add a logo onto it. I'm just going to kind of put that off to the corner here. 
and there you have it. You have now edited your modern chaos picture. Let me show you the before. Where did that go? There's the before, and there's the after. Pretty drastic change, right? Do me a favor. If you liked this video and you thought it was helpful, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I post all my pictures and videos and things like that. Helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, just leave them in the comments below and I'll do the best I can. And until next time, don't really know how to end a video, so bye.